Well, to yet another video, it's still the 17th of October, Monday, uh, 1537 CET. This video is about 10, 10 random, not random, but diverse topics. And before I start with the topics, I do want to uh, explain that the MAC systematics, the mind and consciousness systematics, this thing here, uh, that yesterday I already announced to the usual recipients, all members of uh, secret services and security agencies and whatnot, in Fallout number 233, that system which explains sanity, insanity, and absanity. Uh, I did announce yesterday in the email that I'll do a video on the details of that. It's just that the details of even that uh, diagram are very extensive. And in addition to that, um, in addition to that, the few little lines here beneath explain how you wind up somewhere in this diagram. I have to do with nature and nurture and so on. And that is a little more complicated to put into words yet. And especially as uh, I've been severely getting attacks over these last uh, well, pretty much since I sent this email yesterday, thereabouts. Not that I wasn't attacked previously, but with particular sabotaging attacks, rather than directly previously was mostly tortured. This is sabotaging again. Uh, I'm not going to allow this explanation video to be sabotaged. So uh, if they keep the sabotaging up for the rest of the day, I won't get to do this explanation video today, but I'll do it tomorrow whenever. Coming up though. So let's get to the 10 topics. No particular order. Uh, the first here, there is a word in German called Verstehe, which literally means understander. Namely, said of someone who has understanding of particular groups of other people. In German, there are uh, compound nouns such as Frauenverstehe or uh, Russenverstehe, that's a that's a word you read every now and then. And there is a new compound now that I'm gonna use now. Murkin Fashtia. No shit, Murkin Fashtia. I am guilty of being a Murkin Fashtia. I'm not ashamed of that. Now the interesting thing is, it is a prerequisite for my job, so to speak. And I don't mean job as in, well, who hired you? I mean, for what I am. It comes with a job and it is dictated by a job and that job being prime protector of mankind. You cannot be a prime protector of mankind if you don't understand the people. I do understand the people to the extent that yes I am American Fashtia. And that also has something to do with how I announced or just let you know a few videos back how it, it doesn't get more American than me outside of America. I am the biggest American Fashtia you will find anywhere. That's what I meant. But, in order to be prime protector of mankind, because I am prime protector of mankind, due to that I'm prime protector of mankind, and so on, I am prime protector of mankind, and mankind includes the Americans. There. I'm not talking to fix Mundi, I'm talking to Americans who ain't fix Mundi. So, Americans are still. Uh, the next one is a little topic, really, this is, this here is the little topic. Uh, it just says a few words here about the declaration of war, which for the most part was a formality. I actually want to point out that Fex Mundi declared by the introduction of instrument technologies war on all mankind. And because of that, you have the war flag of mankind, which I've explained years ago, and so on and so forth. I just wanted th this uh, Declaration of War 2.0 was really, um, to, to a large extent, was a formality, and especially with the background of the USA in the Fex Mundi mindset and definition as such as an entity not existing anymore in its place, you having the successor states, the secret successor states, which also span all of North America. And that is why, as this likewise newly shaped Europe, and by the European Confederation, I did away with any such structures that a fixed moon might have established on the European continent. So this new Europe, officially, for formalities reason, 
declared war on specifically that North American continent and P-E-N-A, PENA, uh, all the political entities in North America. That's the background, okay? You already declared war on mankind 80 fucking years ago plus. Fucking 16th Duke of Norfolk. So just for completeness sake, that explained. Um, nukes. We are jumping topics. It says here, nukes, well actually, and then it says something German, so let's not read it. Um, it says, see, what, what, the, the reason why I wrote this down is because you don't understand the situation about the nukes. Before the bitch, queen took, the bitch queens took over, you had actually succeeded to practically neutralize all nukes in the world and had actually, for the most part, done away with them or were, had made them practically rendered them useless and infunctional and whatnot and had established all manners of mechanisms. Why? Because before the fucking bitch queens took over, and as I said, the bitch queens bring all of the lurches because the bitch queens have conquered all churches and religions and, and, and sects and whatnot, the old fix Mundi, from prior the bitch queens taking over, realized that, you know, nukes could put an end to them. So they saw to it, best as possible, that they could actually do away with nukes. And nukes became alive for a long time, for all practical purposes. But the bitch queens changed that. Why? Because they're stupid bitch queens. They changed it. They actually reintroduced nukes and for real again. Right? So, and the interesting thing is, um, chances are some of the effects among these circles, especially over in America, keep protocols of your secret meetings or whatnot. Um, maybe they are not written down, but maybe they are brain novelization stored on tape or whatever such. You can actually go back and read slash relive slash whatever these conversations, how there was face value, a civilized discussion wherein the bitch queens convinced the others that nukes had to be reintroduced. You can actually read that. You can bet your ass that such tapes slash uh, uh, protocols exist. And in those, you can actually read how they fuck their minds. And once more, um, having gotten for years and years attacks with hand-edited recordings of the extraction field, your brain protocols are completely forged and completely forgeable. You should bear that in mind when you go and relive the brain protocol of that meeting of Ex Mundi when it was decided to actually reintroduce nukes for good and for real. But, as far as the world is concerned, that's a good thing, because nukes are around. Nukes are good. That's a good thing. At least in a world with Ex Mundi, nukes are good. So, nukes explain. Also explains the interesting situation how, this goes back to the hot phase, how there was this, this odd, um, intel status, let's call it that, on whether nukes are completely fictive or not, in the sense that they were a complete lie, the number of nukes and whatnot, when in fact that was not so, but yet there they were, and so on and so forth. That explains it, actually. There was some old fuckers, matter of fact, talking about old fuckers, turns out that the bitch queens, that some people were not invited to that meeting of Fex Mundi, where nukes were actually reintroduced, and there's some fuckers out there in, in, in Fex Mundi still to this day, probably a little older, naturally, who actually believe that, no, we've done away with all the nukes. No, you did not. The, the bitch queens brought them back, just so you know. And not just in America, mind you, not just in America. <coughs> the next one here says, uh, it says law and courts are for criminals, not inhumans. See, this is for the people, um, I mean, you know, this is for probably the violent people saying, well, don't we get uh, a court hearing or something? No, you don't. Courts are not there for inhuman filth of fixed money. Courts are there for criminals. You know, courts are there for murderers and looters and pillagers and rapists and whatnot. That's what courts are there for. Okay, that's what judges are there for. That's what the justice system is there for. You are a criminal. You are inhuman filth. You're pretty much something 
for pest control. You're not something for courts. You should understand that. You are not criminals. You are so beyond the vilest, worst criminals ever. The vintage ones. You're even beyond those you created to be vile and worst criminals. Because what you do is, is simply, it's not, it's not, it is actually for a change, not Sterz, which I will explain a little later, on uh, a technical term. But it is actually something simply, it's, it's not beyond that as in larger than anything of that nature known so far. It's just not the same thing. It's a different thing. There's crime, and then there's the doing a fixed movie, which has nothing to do with crime at all. Courts and judges and lawyers and whatnot, that's not for fixed money. That's for criminals. Not for the filth of the world. Inhuman assholes and bastards and put down, put downable, put down ease. Put down whatever you. On the topic of military, uh, this actually goes uh, towards North America. The interesting thing is, when it comes to these successor states that were uh, uh, introduced to follow up the United States of America, the interesting thing is, uh, and this goes straight to the Pentagon, whatever uh, I call it zoning. Whatever zoning for defense purposes and military purposes on the North American continent you actually have to this day must represent the pretty much ballpark, more than ballpark, pretty accurately the, the borders of their several successor states to the USA. So if you don't know how their successor states look like, they seem to it that your defense zoning of your own homeland is in accordance and congruent with the shapes of their newly uh, of their new countries, you know, political entities, whatever. And interestingly enough, um, whenever you see, if you go back historically, wherever you see all of a sudden a severe changing of something, that is a good point where you can safely assume that something in the Fex Mundi uh, political secret ongoing shit has significantly changed. Okay, so what I'm saying is, Pentagon. Your defense zoning for the North American continent gives you a very good idea, a very concrete idea of what Fex Mundi has secretly declared a successor state to the United States of America a long time ago. A long time ago. You can see the shape of them. Uh, here is something. See, I'm in this unemployment course, and we do all manners of ridiculous. Uh, mumbo jumbo pseudoscientific crap, you know, communication seminars, and and oh, it, it's just dreadful. But it's it's for the most part it's bearable. One of the things is this is this comes from communication background. Uh, one of the thing is here's a line. Listen closely to me. Don't think of a pink elephant. The pseudoscience has it. In this case, the pseudoscience is not really all that bad pseudoscience. It is really just a complete wrong look at it uh, of a actually duh phenomenon. In order to, for, for anybody who hears that sentence, they must, um, language-wise, just take the sentence apart to even know what it means. And at that point of, of parsing, so to speak, that sentence, they automatically access pink and access elephant. They don't actually think of a pink elephant at that point, but it is sold to them as if they were thinking of a pink elephant, which to some people is actually, I mean, the idiots out there, is actually said to be equal, allegedly, even though it's not. One is parsing language, the other is actually thinking of a pink elephant, but there are people out there who don't want to make a difference or are too stupid to make a difference. In either case, um, you should ask yourselves, Fix Mundi, how this chimes with. Uh, confederacy and confederation, especially in Europe, and you're not talking to the American fix money, but to those in Europe. Um, don't think of confederacy. Don't think of confederation. Especially with the severe force verbalization that you keep up on there, where you actually shove that straight into the hits. Where, oddly enough, you actually bypass the linguistic analyzing step 
of pink elephant, which is not thinking of a pink elephant already, you actually bypass that and force them to think of a pink elephant and a confederacy. Okay? So, your funny little shit routines that you might have out there, you will have out there, which is, this is not just whole true of confederacy. I just bring it up because I understand that you don't like the idea of confederacy, but this is true for a lot of shit out there. Pink elephant syndrome paired with the absurdity that is forced verbalization. Once more, you are blithering idiots. That won't explain. Uh, then the next one, the next one is just a little explanation. It says the effects Mooney's interest groups misunderestimate their misunderestimate. I think I have touched in the past on how I really like that word created by George W. Bush because it actually means something. Um, how they misunderestimate their numbers and over and mis overestimate mis overestimate their individual importance and mis overestimate their individual circumstantial unput down ability. What does that mean? It means now I am <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> My throat is being fucked. One of these sabotaging routines. It means, no, I'm being too important for anyone to put me down. I've been fixed money for blah, 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 years. <laughs> I rule half of the North American. You don't matter. I mean, you matter significantly less than you think you do. Because the general cause of this, that these instrument technologies, oh, only we have it. Only we. We little fucking IG. But nobody else. What the truth is, as I said before, every time Nick and Harry, Harry with a sick brain, has access to your main technologies. <coughs> and that is why all of you fix money filth, anywhere in the world, not just America, completely underestimate, misunderestimate, namely for all the wrong reasons, but nonetheless underestimate the absolute number of fixed mundi and of course of willing executioners which are also fixed mundi and you horrendously miss overestimate and we miss for all the wrong reasons yet still overestimate your um in german there's a couple of words like unabkömmlichkeit unentbehrlichkeit basically if you think you're too precious and valuable that anyone would ever just come with a baseball bat and make as just have your brain split all over, you are mistaken. There. The next one. Uh, the next one is actually, there is, I wrote part of that next one down on this sheet here. This is actually a couple of days ago. Uh, it says here, actually this is German because it addresses people in Germanistan, in the former ex-Germany. There are some, basically, it's, it's as I said, there's a Roden background, and the Roden continue, in the Roden background of the peri Roden series, you have something called extra sin, which means something like an extra, not an extra sense, but it is actually an extra brain sort of kind of whatnot. And the theory is, I mean, it doesn't really have directly to do with Roden, it's just the terminology extra sin that I borrow from Roden to describe their delusion. See, what these idiots don't understand is they have it down wrong. They, you know, they, what they do to their own brains is just utilize the phases and they think they're actually going from 100% to 500% brain power. When in fact they're going from 100% to 5 times 20% brain power. And not even that actually, because it's less than 20 if you do it that way, but be that as it may. But they delude that it's actually 500. And that is just idiocy. <coughs> However, these fucking Germans actually force this shit and these lies and their particular completely wrong setups and connections internally onto me, I have done a couple of days ago, in order to make the claim to other IGs out there that, see, we now have shoved his brain in the position what we have to multiply our intellect and only that is why he is such a smart, intelligent fucker. Otherwise he would not be. No, I'm a smart, intelligent fucker because I'm a smart, intelligent fucker. Not because you shove your completely delusional connections here. If you take 
and you make five out of it, you have five times twenty percent. The math is not that simple, actually, on a detail level, but that's what it is. You don't add four additional instances of one hundred percent. You don't fucking do that. No matter what, in which fucking pseudoscientific tome of wisdom it says, no matter what you delude about, that is not how you do it. I want to make that very clear. The people, the, basically, this is down the line of, we just use X percent of our brain. No, you don't. You use 100% of your brain. Uh, the next thing, actually, stats. A couple of videos back, I mentioned how stats uh, was something with stats. What is stats? Um, let me let me try to explain it a little better. Noodle soup in Viennese slang is called noodle soup, and in Viennese slang, if you want to express that someone um, is absolutely clueless and someone, someone is absolutely incompetent and whatnot, um, you say "der is of the noodle soup in the which means literally he came swimming. Hither? Hither, hither? Yes, he came swimming hither on noodle soup, which literally might not make a lot of sense. It just means that he's a complete nobody, and I don't mean nobody as a, oh yes, does he have a title, or any such. I mean, he's a fucking idiot, okay? A bloody fucking idiot. And you say of someone like that that he, that he came swimming on a noodle soup. So, so that noodle soup means something, which is why noodle soup and psychologica is actually referring to the delusional wannabe Mengele shrinks that the Abwehrant and their Dunskas utilizes. They're in noodle soup, and they're psychologic, even as they're noodle soup, even in being pseudoscientists, pseudoscientists they're noodle soup. So what is Stärz? Stärz is something for which I found a new word. There is superlative, and of course that does not usually go for nouns, nonetheless, uh, there is the concept of a superlative, for adjectives, and what Sterz is to Nullsuppen is something I would like to call a surprisative. What is a surprisative? A surprisative is if you actually would have thought that you had already arrived at the superlative, at the, at the max extent of something, and then come to realize, <laughs> no, apparently I have not f arrived at, at the max because they yet outdid that. That is called a, I call that hereby a surprisative. Okay? And Sterz is a surprisative of what already I thought was a, a superlative, namely Nullsuppen. Okay? So Sterz is the surprisative to Nullsuppen, which is a superlative to describe the insanity of their doing. There. And finally, number 10. Um, this is, I like this one best. See, uh, back to the 16th Duke of Norfolk. The whole shit started when in Russia they had their little revolution. That is when the whole shit started. Because people like the Duke of Norfolk just didn't bloody find that acceptable. You know, it petrified the living shit out of him. And he figured. Well, something must be done by then. I mean, we cannot have commoners just shooting dead nobility, let alone royals. So he figured, you know what? Our fucking um, engineers stumble across funny effects that you can have with early uh, radio technology and a couple of other near to that technologies. How about you utilize that to enslave all mankind? So that they make sure that no one ever goes and shoots their, their fucking nobility. Okay? Now, there was a couple of places, a couple of countries proletariat that the Duke of Norfolk must have feared could develop such crazy socialism ideas as well. Um, and here's the funny part, America, if you know any, any, anything about your own history, ask yourself this, don't you think that completely useless 16th Duke of Norfolk would have been utterly petrified of the large proletariat in the former colony. Don't you think that? Because he saw what the large proletariat in Russia did, and he knew there was a large proletariat in the former colony. We're talking 
world. See, you can say about the 16 what you want to say, and that's fine, because he was quintessentially the person to blame. You want to put it on anyone, him. But he did think globally to a certain extent. Okay, I've explained a long time ago in one of my videos uh, about uh, how he did about China and Russia, I think I mentioned, and whatnot, and what the whole Nazi shit was all about, which he uh, instigated and orchestrated best as he could before he lost control over it and so on and so forth. But the interesting thing, this is, I, I did also, this is really what I'm trying to get at. Um, I all, in, in that very video, in fact, I, I mentioned how I understood it was the early, um, the early, I'm lost for a word here, Zionists, the, the early Zionists, this was before there was Israel as such, uh, naturally, historically, um, that he collaborated with. And I, and I said back then for the other video that he must have had a, a, someone to collaborate with in, over in America. The truth is, I, I have come to understand that that need not necessarily be so. In the sense that he could have simply, himself basically, and or also the Zionists, simply talked shit to a small handful and once more the fucking Navy was very, very, very early, way back U.S., uh, very early involved in this. I have no idea how he got the Navy. I have no idea if maybe he conquered America via the Navy, or if he, co he let the, the Jews conquer America, or if he himself co conquered America with some of the delusion um, mumbo-jumbo spiritist Satanist, because I figured, I did some research, and I figured that, for instance, this whole... Um, this whole, what do you call it, o OTO, I think, Order Templis Orientalis, or something like that, um, with, with, uh, uh, with, what is he called? The associating art. Them through the field, not internally for a change, them through the field, life sabotaging, uh, blanking, which is, spacing into the columns and whatnot. Uh, that, that, the, the, the beast, I think, calls that some very delusional uh, British chap who, from the Wikipedia articles, was working for whatever secret services and whatnot. And I also found out, by the way, that uh, that dreadful pulp hack uh, who came to create this ultra delusion that is called Scientology actually was conquered by these insanities via inhuman technologies prior to him even opening that funny church of his, that not being a church church of his, okay? Which really means that, you know, this in retrospect, some of this is actually funny because the bitch queens conquered fucking Scientology, but the fact is that Scientology already came after uh, 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 Hubbard, there, I knew it with an H, it was not Huxley Hubbard, after Hubbard's brain was completely fucked, I mean, he was completely ridiculed, which you can see in his video, and he was completely uh, in, in very odd delusions, probably an early version of this scenario, I don't know, um, and he, he used to work for the Navy, used to be with the Navy, incidentally, and once more, Navy finds its way in, but, so I just want to say that this whole, this whole um, Scientology shit, not just is it a mediocre Pulp Fiction hacks delusions. It is actually farcical such pre-conquered such pre-conquered farcical blah, blah 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 blah. Okay, so I don't care, honestly. I don't care in in the sense that um, th you know there's such a lot of absolutely insane religions out there. All of them have become absolute not insane as in. The MAC system, they're actually all absane, right? But as one commonly says, insane. They're all fucking insane. All of them are fucking insane. But I just want to... Ex oh, I'm not done yet. So, so 16th, Duke of Norfolk. Um, Marka, not having had collaborators. Of course, there was some members of nobility he must have gotten via mumbo-jumbo shit, via pulling shows, via shit like that. Um, and so... To a certain extent, you had traders that made it easier for these instrument technologies to find their way into America way back when. But it was not really at that point American side actual ally of his, like the early Zionists that actually allied with the 16th Duke of Norfolk. I want to point this out. Also, because I'm American, I want to point this out. 
But back to fixed money. So fixed money, ever since the 16th Duke of Norfolk, you just find it natural that, you know, all of mankind needs to be enslaved and done away with, because quintessentially, and this is so funny, in all of your fucking delusions, um, working class, basically, the common man, people like me, have been blown up uh, and caricatured to grotesque, almost mythical monstrosities. Your nobility delusions about working class are so grotesque that you actually fear working class. You actually fear the nobodies, the masses, the proletariat, whatever you fucking call it. You fear it. And I mean actual fear. Which is fascinating. <clears throat> because the way biology works is nobody fears their own species. Nobody. You know, I mean, hedgehogs don't fear hedgehog kind. Sharks don't fear shark kind. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, hawks don't fear hawk kind. Crocodiles don't fear crocodile kind. And in fact, humans don't fear human kind. You do fear humankind, which scientifically has only one possible interpretation, namely that you are not mankind. You are inhuman. For if you were not inhuman, you would not fear mankind. But you fear mankind, hence you are inhuman. Because you cannot be human, otherwise you would not fear mankind. But you fear mankind. You are inhuman. Do not delude that you are human. You fex mundi are inhuman, for you fear mankind. And, touching back a little on the law and courts and lawyers, see, we don't put crocodiles or sharks or hedgehogs at, at, on trial. We, we don't. I mean, maybe in some parts of the world, like America, maybe they have some crazy laws. Or that has funny things happen in America. Um, but in Europe, there ain't. And not just that you're not criminals and hence don't belong in the court, you're not even human. We humans only have a justice system for humans, not for other species. You are not subject to the justice system. You are a pest that pest control would do away with. There. And that was the 10 topics. 33 minutes almost. Well, that's okay. Bye.